Right now we're in Cabo and, and we're kicking off the Jumanji press junket, Jumanji the next level, and, and it's a lot of fun. We just, we just had a toast over there on the bridge and, and very happy to be here. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing. I, I, I really love them a lot, and, and I think, um, you know, I'm the newest member of, of the Jumanji uh, world, and, and, I, and I remember watching the, the first one and, and being like a total fangirl. So when I came on to set, I was nervous, but um, they definitely embraced me, and the chemistry that you see is, is definitely on and off camera. They're, they're my, my dudes, yeah. Jake had a, a, a really clear vision and he's passionate and I think that you know from the first meeting I had to talk about the character of Ming I, I could definitely tell that about him and you know we were just in, in a press conference talking about the aspect of trust and I think that it, it, it was you can't help but really know that that Jake is going to guide us in a good direction because he cares about the material he cares about the stories and every character he thinks out and um, it's, it's seriously an honor to work with him. Jumanji has always been a phenomena for me. When I was a kid, I watched the first movie and and I was obsessed with it. And I and I and I, making this movie, I would look back on that obsession. And I think it's because everybody wants to feel like a hero. Everyone wants to take a risk and everyone wants to escape. And I think that um, in the world of Jumanji, anything is possible. And I think that the audiences that we saw here at this junket are are so they love it so much. They feel good, and, and that's how you feel making it and watching it. So go see it.